Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Coming to you this morning, December 31, 2019, the final day of the year. God allowed us to pass through 2019, through all the errors that we made, all the mistakes, all the negatives, all the positives, all the life-changing things that we went through. We went through a lot this year. I know for me, I did. and But we've seen some great things happen as well. With every year comes new things and new, more learning, more experiences. And Lord, I thank you for that experience in 2019. Why? Because it made us a new person. It made me a new person. Lord, I thank you. And I just want to say and encourage those uh, for 2019, for this last day of December 31st, 2019, going into the new year, that we will just give God thanks. Like I said, for all the mistakes, all the negativity, all the positive, all the friends that we've lost along the, on the, along the way, whether it's physically because they passed on or whether it's because God chose for us to leave those friends behind because he knows what he has for us in our lives. And he knows that some people can't come along that train ride. Some people can't walk beside us into this new year because they're not letting go of certain things. But we will be praying for our friends and our family members. Those who have a heart of unforgiving that we know, our families and friends, we're going to, add, we're going to pray for them. And we're going to ask God to allow us to just be a model for them. Because we know that in Christ we have to have an unlimited love, an agape love, a love that surpasses everything. Because that's who God is. God is love. God is not judging, but God is love. He's not worrying about what you're wearing, uh, how your hair looks, and this and that. No, God accepts us because of our hearts. He accepts us because of our heart. Yes, there are things in the Bible, guidelines, of course. And as we grow and mature in Christ, as we grow and mature in Christ, we will change. Because that's what, that's what God does. He changes us as we begin to develop a relationship with Him. But judging people is not a good thing. So we're just going to love one another with unlimited love, with that agape love that God has given us. And we're going to tell God, thank you for all the mistakes, all the errors, all the negativities, all the friends that we lost along the way, all our family members that we had to, we had to love from a distance. We're telling God, thank you for moving certain things out of, our, out of our way and out of our paths and for allowing us to be in that solitary confinement for him. To get a personal and deeper relationship with him. We had to be just put put into a, a place where you only can see God. You can't see nothing else. No more distractions. So that's what God has done for a lot of us in 2019. And all we have to do is stop being hurt about it. And look at it and say, okay, God, that was for the better of me. I see what you did, God. And I thank you, Lord God. I know if you didn't move that person out the way or move this Move me out of this situation. Lord, my God, would I be here today? December 31st, 2019. So we're just going to tell God, thank you. We're going to believe God for 2020 to be a new year. We're going to believe God for that vision, that, 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 that clear vision, that 2020 vision. We're going to believe God for new things. We're going to believe God for taking a stand in it, for showing people who we are in Christ, for not judging people, for loving people unconditionally. And if we're just trying to just be that model that God has for us to be. Because Jesus came. He died on the cross for us. So that we can know how to live as people of God. And that's what we need to be. If we have not done that in 2019, well, we have time. We have time until God calls us, until breath comes out of our body and stops. We still have time. As long as we're breathing, we still have time. So while we still have time, let's change. Let's change for the better. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done for 2019. Lord, we just want to say thank you. And coming into 2020, Lord God, we also want to say thank you. Because we know that there is new things coming, Heavenly Father. Lord, new things are coming. New people, new encounters, new ministries. Lord, we thank you for everything in advance. Father God, for those who did not accept God yet, you have a chance. You have a chance right now to accept God. And we can say a prayer together so that we don't go into 2020 with the same negative mind frame, but with the wholeness, with the wholeness of Christ, with the mind frame of change, with the renewal of the mind. 
That's what we're going to go into 2020 with. So I'm going to say a prayer for those who, who haven't accepted Christ yet in their lives, but who are ready now and who are just looking for a person to encourage them, who are looking for a video, anything. They might be afraid to go into a church because they might feel like they might be judged. But whatever it is, right now, those who are watching this video who haven't accepted Christ yet, let's say a prayer together. Let's say a prayer so we can go into the year with a changed mind and a changed heart. Father God, I'm coming to you as humble as I know, Heavenly Father. My Father up in heaven, my beautiful Father, Lord, I thank you for everything that you have done in 2019. I thank you for everything I went through. It was all for your purpose and for your glory. It was all for a new testimony and a new message. Lord, I thank you for every single thing. Heavenly Father, those who moved out the way, you know the reasons why. Those circumstances that change, you know the reason why. The situations you took me out of, you know the reason why. And we thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I'm going to say a prayer for those who haven't accepted you yet, but who are willing to accept you. If you guys are watching, just repeat after me. Father, Almighty King, Heavenly Father, I thank you for not judging me and for loving me unconditionally. Lord God, I'm asking you, to take away all the negativity, all the sin out of me, to purge me, to cleanse me, so that we can receive you. I can receive you into a clean body, into a clean temple. Because, Lord, we know that you don't want to live where it's unclean. So, Lord, take away all of that filth, all that negativity, all the unforgiveness, all the heartaches and all the pain, Lord God. Let me see who you are. Embrace me, Father. Hug me. Love me. Father, come into this clean temple, Lord God. I receive you unto today. And I come to you as a changed person, a changed mind, a changed heart, a changed spirit, a changed mindset. Lord God, I thank you. I love you, Lord. And Lord, I know that once I asked you, you had already loosed it on earth. Why are you loosed it in heaven? So, Heavenly Father, I thank you. I decree today that I am a child. I am a child of God. I will start new. I will be a new person in this new year. Lord, we love you. We thank you. And we just give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor for who you are. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 That's all you have to do is say that prayer for God to come into your life and to change you. God is willing. He's always there. He's the beginning and the end. He's never going to change on you. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. All you have to do is just ask him to come into your heart and to forgive you. To try to live a holy life. To live the life that God has called you to live. He has so much he wants for us to do. But all we have to do is allow him to come in and open up our hearts. And to lead us and to guide us. So that's all, that's all, that's all it is. It's something very simple. And all we have to do is now just try to start studying the Bible. Start praying. Start building a relationship with God. And as we begin to build a relationship with God. As we begin to keep praying. We will see a change. Yes. Yes, I will warn you, the enemy will attack you. Of course he's going to attack you because now he knows that you're on God's side. You're not on his side no more. So there will be tests. There will be struggles. But with God by your side, remember the Bible says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So with God by your side, just know that you have the ultimate power. You have the ultimate authority in Jesus' name. you got to start rebuking starting now. You will see things coming at you, especially coming into 2020. But start rebuking right now in the name of Jesus. Satan, I rebuke you. You have no authority in my house. In the mighty name of Jesus, Satan, I rebuke you. Get the hints behind me, Satan. You have no authority over me smoking anymore. You have no authority over me drinking anymore. You have no authority over me sleeping with numerous of men's no more. You have no authority of me doing homosexual things no more. You have no authority of me doing lesbianism. You have no authority of me doing any sin, any stealing, any cursing, any lying. You have no authority over me no more. In the mighty name of Jesus, Satan, flee. And once you say that and you declare that, Satan has got to go. The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee. Resist him and he shall flee in the name of Jesus. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to decree. We're going to accept God. We're going to start all over for 2020. And I'm just coming to you encouraging you. And thank you all for subscribing and for watching me and, and, and helping me in my ministry and seeing what it is that, that God is doing for us this year. Thank you so much. I pray that you have a beautiful ending of your 2019. 
and that God wakes you up tomorrow morning so that you can start a new day, a new life, a new vision, a new clarity in Jesus Christ. May you have a wonderful, blessed day.